How do you go live using StreamYard's new green screen feature? I'll show you how right now on Brand on Broadcasting. Ross Brand here for LivestreamUniverse.com and the host of StreamYard Connect. And StreamYard has a new green screen feature that's so easy to use and yet extremely powerful. You do need one of these bad boys. You need a green screen. Once you have that, then uh, I will walk you through the steps that it takes to set it up. And it's, a, it's really a piece of cake. Watch, watch me here as I take you through what it takes to add the StreamYard green screen. Okay, so you go into the StreamYard dashboard like you would for any other new broadcast. Click Create a Broadcast. Choose your destination for this since we're not uh, going live. I'm just going to skip. Click Skip Record Only, and we'll give it a title, uh, Green Screen Demo, and click Create Broadcast. Select your camera and mic. I've got my USB capture which is uh if you have a dslr or mirrorless camera it'll come through a capture card if not you can choose your webcam or a virtual cam and then you select your audio i've got the mix free three where i am recording the audio and also sending that audio right now into Streamyard. Uh, i am disabling the audio processing you can do that if you have a good quality mic and headphones on and a good audio setup. You'll find that the audio is even better when you disable that audio processing. Choose your microphone if you're using a USB microphone that's plugged right into your computer. If you're using a mixer or audio interface, you would choose that. And then you select green screen. And you can see the green screen behind me. And it comes with a couple of options built right in. You can use this brick wall or this living room setup, or you can upload your own. And you can upload a background that you like. And you can go down here where it says fade. And you can use that slider to dial it in. I'm checking my headphones, I'm checking my mic, making sure none of that is making an outline that's problematic and showing that I'm in a green screen. You can go to Pixabay, Unsplash. If you're looking for free stock images, you can also, uh, it, there's a lot of other options you can use. Just make sure that it's a royalty free stock image and that you're allowed to use it for commercial use if you're going to use it for business or in an advertisement or something of that nature and you're good to go. The other option is you can create something in Canva or in uh, PowerPoint, Photoshop, whatever image editor that you use. You can create your own image. You could use a screenshot from uh, a video. You could use a background from, uh, you know, you go out and shoot a nice scenic background. There's a lot of different ways you could do this, but that's it. That's it, and it's really easy, and you're going to have fun with it. You can put yourself in a new environment. You can emphasize that you are working from home, or you can use a green screen and make your home office look exactly what you want it to look like. You can have privacy for yourself. People don't necessarily need to see your bedroom or your home office or uh, what's in your environment. You can give it the professional gloss or the fun personality or whatever's appropriate for your business and your brand and the kind of work that you're doing. I highly recommend you play around with it. The StreamYard green screen is a powerful feature. If you have a green screen, give it a shot. If you don't have a green screen, consider getting one in order to do this. I'll put my recommendation for my favorite green screen, uh, which is the Elgato green screen, but there are lots of other good ones on the market. It depends what you're looking for. Uh, some screens are blue. If your green screen isn't really a green screen and it's a blue screen, then uh, see when I make that check there, you drop down, then you'll want to go down here and select blue. Uh, and there is also a guide for learning how to use the green screen that our friends at StreamYard were good enough to provide. Hopefully this video combined with uh, that guide, if you need it, will help you. And Gage has a tutorial as well. Uh, if there's some aspects that aren't covered here, check that out. 
and enjoy using the StreamYard green screen. If you're not on StreamYard yet, you want to be using StreamYard to host your live shows. You can go to LivestreamUniverse.com slash StreamYard, LivestreamUniverse.com slash StreamYard. Get a free 14-day trial. See if StreamYard is right for you. Sign up and get started live streaming today. Take care, everybody.